When you go to a supermarket, it's like, it's almost like the fruits and the vegetables have gotten pastel. It's like they've lost their vibrancy and their nutrition. Um, you walk in a farmer's market and there's this feeling of community. I mean, you see people shaking hands and seeing their neighbors and seeing old high school friends and um, the relationships that are built between a farmer and um, their customer. Did you have a question about garlic? You know what? I, I did want to know about garlic. It doesn't grow out of the ground like this. Yes. It's really nice for a small farm or any farm, I think, to be able to have some things that aren't so highly perishable as the vegetables that you bring just fresh on the day of the market. We have uh, herbal sugars and dried herbs and uh, herbal salts. Taste that. So imagine that in a mocha. And now you've got <laughs> spearmint. That's amazing. So how is everything in West Marin? Oh, it's just fine. We had a little bit of rain, lots of lightning last night, which we never get. What is broccoli rab? Broccoli rab is actually a relative of the turnip. This is the top. It doesn't make a turnip, but it's, it's pretty closely related. The classic dish is this, sautéed with hot pepper flakes and sausage and with orecchiette pasta. Good. So how's Beautiful things, display. flower child? It's going really well. Yeah, yeah couldn't, couldn't be better actually. We, we got our start uh, about eight years ago and uh, my wife was uh, working uh, for Levi at the time and on 9-11 she decided that she wanted to do something a little bit different. And a couple of months later she came back and decided that uh, she wanted to bake and uh, got associated with the Marin County Farmers Markets and started again growing the business from, from that point on. And then three years ago we built out our own bakery. This is an exciting place for you to be because I think traditionally you don't like gluten-free, wheat-free items. No, I'm not a big fan. No. We'll get you a little sample here. Good job getting us free samples. Yeah, I know. Do you see that entree? Yes, that was so well done. I know. Mm -hmm. You've done it. This is gluten-free that I like. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head Mr. himself. Potato Head. Dry farm potatoes. David, how you doing? I'm doing great. I... Oh. Good. Tell us about dry no farming. No irrigation. Well, dry farming uh, on the coast of Marin, for, for that matter, on the coast of Northern California, as far as I know, it's uh, ancestral technique and supplied the gold rush in San Francisco with uh, most of their produce. What you do is you disc the ground, then you plow it, and you get that deep, wet ground up and turn it over, and then you disc that and then you, your final disking, you attach a roller and you disk with a roller behind it and that presses it down and seals the moisture in that you brought up. We don't know exactly uh, how much water we save. It, it Obviously one of the benefits is water conservation. One of the problems is we get a lot less yield, but because of it we get a lot uh, more flavor. So we're here at Whippersnapper with Bill Higgins, and he's going to make us some potato recipes, right from David Little's farm to Whippersnapper. What are we making today? Roasted uh, mountain rose potatoes with a pasilla chili aioli, which is actually a dried poblano chili. I'm looking for consistency and tightness in there that's enough to hold up to a potato. Oh, look at that. There's a few herbs that go really good with potatoes, and one of them is rosemary. So I put a little rosemary with them also. So then, we got the rosemary in there, very perfumey. Now let place them in, a, in the oven, 350 degrees. And here's how we serve the potatoes here at Whippersnapper with the pasilla chili aioli and the roasted mountain rose potatoes. We invite you back next week when we visit another farmer's market in a different region of the U.S. We'll find out what makes each market different with its unique regional specialties. So come on back next week for Farmer's Market Today.